true are the posts that we see on social media? It's the question that Congress took up today. The heads of Facebook, Twitter and Google testified about the spread of misinformation. One thing misinformation is affecting is the COVID vaccination campaign. Tan Trung puts that issue in focus tonight. We're in the middle of what's perhaps the largest vaccination campaign in modern history. So it's natural that many of us are looking for articles dealing with the vaccine and their potential side effects. But in seeking out that information, we can easily get lost in the amount of misinformation, especially on social media. Take a look at this meme on Instagram. It's a collage of headlines of some people dying after receiving the vaccines. What it doesn't say is those cases need review to see if there's any link to the vaccine. It got flagged as misleading for lacking context. Content that your websites are still promoting, still recommending, and still sharing is one of the biggest reasons people are refusing the vaccine. Today, some House members slammed the heads of Facebook, Google, and Twitter for adding to political division and vaccine hesitancy. Republican members accused social media of silencing conservative voices. The CEO of Facebook says private companies should not be policing free speech, but it is trying to make sure its platforms remain safe spaces. We remove content that could lead to imminent real world harm. We've built an unprecedented third party fact checking program. Despite that, a headline like this will get a lot of attention. According to the tracking firm Newswhip, this article about a Florida doctor dying after receiving the vaccine is so far the top article about COVID this year. It had almost four and a half million engagements online. As the CDC investigates, Tulane epidemiologist Susan Hessick says attention on such rare cases cut into the bigger picture of vaccine progress. It's, it's one in perhaps 15, 20, 30, maybe 50 million people that might have a serious negative outcome from this. And then that's the only thing that people focus on. On the flip side, Dr. Hessick says social media is a powerful tool in showing the overwhelming safety of the vaccine. It's a really important player. While the spread of COVID may be slowing, the viral nature of misinformation seems to be resistant. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. Today's hearing also addressed the role of misinformation in the deadly riot at the U.S. Capitol. Facebook and Google declined to say whether they believe they bear some responsibility for spreading misinformation resulting in that riot. Twitter acknowledged that it did.